Louis Zorik, a busy actor who appeared on Broadway with stars like Laurence Olivier and Dustin Hoffman, on television in the comedy Mad About You and in numerous projects with his wife, the Oscar-winning actress Olympia Dukakis, died on Tuesday at his home in Manhattan. He was 93. His son Peter confirmed his death. In a career of some 60 years, Mr. Zorik played scores of roles, mostly of the character actor variety. He was the father to Paul Reiser's character on NBC's Mad About You from 1993 to 1999 and the grandfather on Brooklyn Bridge, a well-regarded CBS series that ran for two seasons earlier in the 1990s. But he also occasionally tackled the big roles. The year before Brooklyn Bridge made its debut in 1991, he played King Lear in a production at the Whole Theatre in Montclair, NJ, of which he and Ms. Dukakis were founding members. In 2004 he portrayed the title character in an off-Broadway version of Aeschylus Agamemnon by the Aquila Theatre Company, opposite Ms. Dukakis's Clytemnestra.mr. Zorik continued to work into his 90s, so there is some irony in the fact that his final film appearance was in No Pay, Nudity, 2016, a bittersweet comic drama by Lee Wilkoff about the troubles older actors have finding work. Louis Michael Zorik was born on February 12, 1924, in Chicago. His parents Christ, a stationary engineer, and the former Anna Glege, a homemaker were immigrants from Yugoslavia. Mr. Zorik was drafted into the army at 18 and served in an engineering firefighting platoon attached to Gen. George S. Patton's command during World War II. After returning to Chicago from Europe, he attended Roosevelt College under the G.I. Bill, receiving a bachelor's degree in 1951. He earned a Bachelor of Fine Arts from the Goodman School of Drama in 1958. I never had to do anything outside the theater since the day I left acting school, he reminisced in a 1991 interview with the Newhouse News Service. I never had to drive a cab like everybody does. I never had to wait on tables like people do, or work in temporary office work. It was just sheer luck. His first television credits were in 1958, including two Canadian anthology series, Encounter and On Camera. He made his Broadway debut in 1960 in a small role in Beckett, with Olivier as Thomas Beckett and Anthony Quinn as King Henry II. Those early credits set the pattern for a career that would mix a lot of television and a lot of theater with the occasional film thrown in. His movie roles included a constable in the 1971 film version of Fiddler on the Roof. On television, he was seen on episodes of Route 66, Naked City, Columbo, Law and & Order and the soap opera Ryan's Hope. But he most loved to work in the theater I don't know why or how people cannot want to go to theater, he once said. I don't understand that. It's not like TV, it's not like the movies. One theater audition he went to in 1961 proved particularly life-changing. It was for an off-Broadway play called The Opening of a Window. My dad was up for the part of the husband, Peter Zorik said by email. The wife was already cast Olympia Dukakis. He read for the part but didn't get it can't make that up. They moved in together. They married the next year. Mr. Zorik received a Tony Award nomination for Best Featured Actor in a Play for his 1969 performance in Hadrian 7. In 1984 he played Uncle Ben in a Death of a Salesman revival that starred Mr. Hoffman as Willie Loman, 
he reprised the role in a well-regarded TV version on CBS the next year. His other Broadway credits included the 2001 revival of Follies and, most recently, the 2003 revival of Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Though Mr. Zorik and Ms. Dukakis were in many high-profile stage productions, they frequently worked in smaller theaters, both in New York and beyond, individually and together. Sometimes their collaborations would turn into family affairs, as in 2001, when Mr. Zorik and his brother-in-law, Apollo Dukakis, jointly directed the Cherry Orchard for the Pacific Repertory Theater in Carmel, California. The cast included Ms. Dukakis and Christina Zorik, the couple's daughter. A particularly enduring collaboration was the whole theater company in Montclair, where the couple lived for many years. They were part of a group that formed the company in 1970. It staged its first Montclair production, Our Town, in 1973, and brought numerous actors, known and unknown, to Montclair before closing in 1990. Mr. Zorik and Ms. Dukakis's home became something of a gathering spot. It was like growing up in the circus, Peter Zorik told the Montclair Times in 2015, when the troupe held a reunion. There was someone living in the basement, in the garage, in the carriage house. In addition to Ms. Dukakis, his son Peter and his daughter, Christina, Mr. Zorik is survived by another son, Stefan, a sister, Helen Kochand, and four grandchildren. In 1991, Mr. Zorik spoke of the one play he and Ms. Dukakis had done that he would not want to revisit. Edward Albies who's afraid of Virginia Woolf. They play George and Martha, the warring couple at the play's center, in a 1979 production in Montclair and, he said, had gotten a little too into their characters. After playing the show for a few weeks, he said, he marched into her dressing room and asked, why are you going after me like that? only to hear her explain that she was merely playing the role. After another week or two, she confronted him with the same sort of accusation I'll never forget that, he said. We almost got divorced. 